The senior member of the Canadian contingent on the PGA Tour is Mike Weir, who is teeing it up for his 17th season. With eight tour titles and almost $28 million in earnings, Weir continues to work hard at his game, which has slipped since he injured his elbow in 2011. So with lots of hard work, how has the year been going for Weir? Well, it's been not going very well at all. But, um, you know, I am working hard and, uh, you know, I feel like I'm close to a breakthrough. I really do. I guess to be honest, I, I'm not bridging the gap from the range to the core. Some of my bad patterns and, and bad habits get back as soon as I step onto the golf course. So it's just kind of breaking through that and finding that little uh, trigger that just kind of gets me out of that and it allows me to do what I'm doing on the range. So, you know, I, I feel close to doing that. To add to his difficulties, Weir was forced to the sidelines for a three-week stretch in February and March after his surgically repaired elbow began giving him trouble again. Yet despite the struggles, Weir, who turns 45 in May, says he still looks forward to teeing it up each week and seeing if this is the tournament where he finds the magic once again. I'm having a blast. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, it's no fun to play poorly, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, I don't carry it with me like I did and, and used to, and I still feel like I have a lot of game left. Uh, you know, I'm not showing that right now, but I know it's in there. At 35, David Hearn is in his 15th year as a professional. The last five of those have been spent on the PGA Tour, where he's become a solid and consistent player. The start of the 2014-15 season was good before the Christmas break, but Hearn said that getting back up to speed after the holidays has had its challenges. I take a little bit of time off every year in the, in the off season, and this year it, uh, it kind of set me back a little bit. Didn't play great in Hawaii or the next couple of events, so um, you know I feel like I'm just sort of rounding into shape right now. So um, it definitely is a grind trying to get better in each and every week. But for me, uh, a little bit of a mental break in the off season always helps me sort of you know reignite the flame to get out here and practice and work hard. Hearn would not yet classify himself as a grizzled old veteran, but he has definitely carved out a consistent career and has been around enough that he's happy to share what he's learned with the incoming crop of young Canadians, Adam Hadwin, Nick Taylor, and Roger Sloan. I still feel very young, but I definitely have seen that sort of transition that, you know, maybe I am start of getting into the middle of my career here and getting to be more veteran out here. I'm not going to say veteran just yet, but, um, you know, I have been to dinner with Adam and Nick and Roger and some of the younger guys out here. And, you know, they're definitely asking the same questions that I had when I first got on tour. And, you know, it's usually pretty simple stuff like where to stay, what the golf courses are like, and, you know, simple logistical things. There's not much advice I can give them with their games. They're obviously great players and they're going to do wonderful things. It's nice to be able to, to meet meet these guys and you know they're heck of players so I got to keep working hard to try and stay ahead of them. The best Canadian on the PGA Tour the last few years has been Graham Dillette who's posted seven top ten finishes in each of the past two seasons and earning close to eight million dollars. Dillette who turned 33 in January slipped out of his spot inside the top 50 on the world ranking at the end of last year when neck issues prevented him from playing in some of the lucrative season ending events in Asia. Since then he's been trying to work his way back inside that number which gives him entrance into majors and World Golf Championship events. So far, Dillette has a pair of top 10s in 2015, a tie for 7th in Phoenix, and a tie for 8th in Los Angeles. Getting back into the top 50 isn't the only goal on Dillette's list for 2015. He's also determined to get back onto the international team for the President's Cup. Two years ago, the Wizard of Weyburn was one of the best performers for Nick Price's side, and he'd like to try and help guide the squad to break the U.S. stranglehold on the championship. Weir, Hearn, and Dillette, three veterans of Canadian golf, all looking forward to a big year in 2015.